Hello, I'm Jonathan Dunsky, author of The Adam Lapid Mysteries, and today I'd like to tell you about five crime novels I'm excited to read in the upcoming months. These five crime novels are pretty different from one another in their setting, in their main character, and also in the uh, tenor of the book itself. So I'm pretty sure that you'll find at least one novel among these five that you'll enjoy reading yourself. So let me tell you about them. Book one is a German Requiem, and it was written by Philip Kerr. This is book three of the Bernie Gunther series. I recently read books one and two in this series, and I reviewed both of them on this channel. Bernie Gunther is a private investigator working in Berlin in the 1930s, at least in the first two novels. So he works in Nazi Germany, trying to solve crime, uh, while navigating the uh, treacherous and, uh, and very harsh totalitarian state that Germany has become. And this series is rife with historical detail and historical figures like Hermann Goering and Reinhard Heydrich. And the books give you uh, a rich and immersive um, reading experience with historical references and detail and you actually get to feel what living in Nazi Germany was like for just a regular German citizen. So I'm looking forward to continue reading this series and book three, A German Requiem, is also set in Berlin. I believe some of the later books uh, are set in other locations. So this is a book that I'm excited to read and to review on this channel when I do so. Book two is A is for Alibi. This is the first book in the Kinsey Milhone series, which was written by Sue Grafton. And it's also known as the Alphabet series because each of the books uh, has a letter in the title and the letters proceed according to the alphabet. So the first book is A is for Alibi, the second is B is for Burglar, the third is C is for Corpse, and so on. And Sue Grafton wrote 25 novels in this series. She sadly passed away before she had the chance to write uh, the Z novel. So um, she, the series fell one short of completing the entire alphabet. But this is considered to be one of the best private investigator series uh, ever written. And Kinsey Milhone is a female detective so I'm looking forward to uh, sort of diving into this series because I know that I will get to experience um, a character that is much loved and appreciated. And being and the series being 25 novels, I will have um, you know, a long and rewarding experience by reading these books. Book three is Daughters of Night by Laura Shepard Robinson. This is a historical mystery set in England in the late uh, 1700s. I believe it's set in 1782. And it's the second book that uh, this, the author uh, has published. I read the first novel, Blood and Sugar, which was also a historical mystery set in England at that time. And it was fantastic. So I'm excited to read Daughters of Night as well. Uh, Blood and Sugar uh, is... Uh, a novel that deals with uh, slavery, but not slavery in the United States, slavery in, in England, in the British Empire. And in that time period, in the late 1700s, Britain was undergoing uh, or experiencing a, a, a vigorous debate about slavery and the possible abolition of it. And there were many abolitionists who were activists in in the British Empire at the time, and later uh, Britain uh, abolished slavery without going through a civil war. So Blood and Sugar is a historical mystery that uh, deals with the murder of one of these uh, activists, and it shows a different side of the, uh, of, of the Atlantic slavery. We're, we're used to thinking about the Atlantic slave trade uh, we're used to thinking about the, US, the USA, about the southern states, but 
slavery came to the United States uh, through Britain. So it was very interesting historically to learn more about that time period and that aspect of that of the uh, Atlantic slave trade. And I found the book to be an excellent mystery as well, so I'm, I'm confident that I'll enjoy Daughters of Night too. Book four is Native Tongue, and it was written by Carl Hyacin. Carl Hyacin writes funny crime novels that are set mainly in Florida. And Native Tongue is the second book that features his character Skink. The first book, Double Whammy, uh, I previously reviewed it on the channel. It was one of the funniest books that I've ever read. So I am pretty sure that I'll find Native Tongue enjoyable as well. Skink is a former governor of uh, Florida who quit, it, quit the governorship when he realized there was no chance to run that state uh, honestly and even legally uh, or without corruption. So he left the governorship and sort of retreated from society, becoming a hermit living in a rural area of Florida. And he is a very strange character indeed. He lives in a sort of shack. He uh, gathers roadkill and cooks it. and That's what he eats. And he is a character that speaks wildly out of turn and has no tact whatsoever. And he is quite funny. And I'm told that uh, Native Tongue is even better than Double Whammy. So I am, I'm looking forward to reading something that that is light and funny and well-written, as all three uh, Carl Hyacin novels that I read so far have been. Book five is Luck and Judgment by Peter Granger. This is the third book in his D.C. Smith series. D.C. Smith is a police detective, a British police detective who works in a town called Kings Lake, and he just basically solves crimes there. He is in his 50s, recently widowed, a very intelligent and also has this dry sense of humor. And he's a character that is easy to, uh, to read about and to follow and simply to hang out with. And the, I read the first two uh, novels in this series and reviewed both of them on this channel. And I enjoyed them both, even though they tend to be a bit on the dry side. They don't have a lot of physical action or you know, dramatic moments or violent moments. What they are, are excellent police procedurals in which you get to follow an intelligent detective as he goes about piecing together various clues and information and solving a puzzle. So these books are for you if, you're, if, you're, if you enjoy reading a story and trying to figure out what happened, this is what these books are about, and I expect that the third book, Luck and Judgment, will uh, continue in the same vein as the previous two books. They're very well written, and, and it's, it's quite enjoyable and surprisingly gripping to follow D.C. Smith as he goes about investigating these crimes. So there you have it, five crime novels that I'm excited to read, and I think you'll find at least one of them to your liking as well. Naturally, some of these books are not the first books in their series. I recommend that you start with book one in whatever series you think you'll enjoy. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and tell me what you, what you think of them. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.